the response by the government, particularly by civil society organizations, is really heartwarming and it's impressive and, and what you see when you walk in is a very organized arrangement that's welcoming. I think what concerns me a bit more is what you can't see. That's a key area of focus for us to ensure that all of these great services and the, and the warm welcome that's being provided is safe for all. And another key role that we as IOM can play with our international experience in dealing with particularly vulnerable groups, we've heard about the Roma um, who are here. We've also heard about ethnic Hungarians who've come back um, from Ukraine. We've also heard about the case of third country nationals who some are passing through, some are hoping to stay and continue their studies. We had hopes, like nobody planned for this. I know right now with the current situation, like everybody's saying, hey, uh, there's no war in your country, you guys can go back, but it, I don't think it's really fair for our students because right now, what are you going, uh, what, what are you going back to? Right? You have not completed your studies, nothing to show you're going back. You don't know how long it's going to take for you to, for the war to get finished. So um, we're hoping for the best, but I think a lot of students, we just want that uh, opportunity to continue our studies.